Going to assemble the conveyor bottom now. There we go. Make sure everything gets through there. Okay, now this, this one, you really want to make sure everything is square before you let the glue dry. All the frame pieces and then all these pieces. Make sure everything is nice and square. We've got this uh, mug here. We'll use this over here. And this mug here. So just whatever, whatever you have laying around, something to prop up these pieces while they glue. We want to make sure we check that everything is square again and supported as the glue is drying. I'm going to put together the bottom wheel. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the hub wheel. Okay, now we've got the hub assembled. We will drop that in to one side. And then we're going to put these additional pieces in. This is the tricky part, making sure we get everything prepared and lined up so that we can drop this on. And then lastly, we're going to put the hub in. Put some glue on here. Drop this guy in. Okay, and now I'd like to put a bearing on one side. Just gently get it started and then pass this through. There we go. And then we can get this one started here. And now we can just slowly work those bearings on. Squeeze them on. There we go. Snapped in. So you want to make sure that your bearings are close to flush on either side. everything spins properly. Make sure everything's flush here and here and then just let it dry. We can come back later and sand off some of that glue that's dried off. It's dried up. Okay I'm just going to now that these are both dried I'm going to assemble them. It's pretty easy you just want to make sure you thread this on so that you've got the kind of notches lined up. And we're just going to work it down. I like to kind of try to pry this apart as I'm pushing this so that it's not squeezing too hard. I don't want to run the risk of damaging the wheel. So I kind of pull this apart while I'm pushing down. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. There we go. And as you can see it's dropped into the notches there. You might need to shift your wheel just a little bit. You can see I'm rubbing right now on one side as opposed to the other. So I'm just going to kind of shift the wheel over as much as I can in this direction while keeping the bearings still engaged. There we go. And I can see that I'm spinning without any rubbing. A little rubbing is fine, but there's our bottom conveyor.